G'day guys, how you going? Me again. I'm going to be doing another film review. Now this one is back to what I love the most, French horror. So I was really keen to see this one, even though it's been bagged. Um, it's been bagged out a bit, from a lot of criticism. But I decided that I want to see this for myself and make up my own mind. It's a 2009 film, so it's one of the newer French horrors. Directed by Jacques-Olivier Malon and Pierre-Olivier Chevenet. Sorry if I've mispronounced that, but my French is pretty bad. And this is Humanes. Now, Humanes is about a team of researchers travelling to the Swiss, the Swiss Alps to investigate a scientific discovery on human evolution. However, the trip soon uh, turns into a deadly fight for survival when the team crash into a gully and find themselves falling prey to someone, something or some kind. So you have a team of three researchers and they're travelling to the Swiss Alps because they've discovered this skull that has new meaning to human evolution. So it's a Neanderthal skull, and it's really kind of a new discovery. So they're really excited, and they have to go to these Alps, these mountain areas, to investigate further uh, and see exactly what they have discovered. So you have three of them. They're traveling in this van, and they pick up uh, a family. There's a father, played by Dominique Pignon, who's a pretty famous French actor, and his wife and child. And they've broken down and they're walking along this road, and the scientists uh, decide to give these guys a lift. Um, and so they're travelling up this, these mountains, and they get to this place called the Devil's Gorge. It's a pretty dangerous road. And one thing leads to another, and the car, the van crashes off, this cliff face and all the way down and pretty much hits the ground and that's when they discover that they're not the only ones down there so they're trapped down in this gully area and they're recovering from their injuries which remarkably they didn't have too many injuries considering the fall there was actually one death in the fall but the rest of them seemed to be uh, it seemed to be a miracle that they didn't sustain terrible injuries because the car was a complete wreck or the van. So they get out of here and then they're looking around trying to find a way out and that's, yeah, they discover that these, um, they're not alone and I'm not going to give it away but you can pretty much tell by the back of the cover there that something or someone, someone or something doesn't like the fact that they're down there and so they have to fight for, um, for their lives as they're trying to determine who is hunting them down. So that's your film. Now these two directors, uh, I have to look up their name again, so it's pretty hard to pronounce. Jacques Olivier Malon and Pierre Olivier Chene, uh, Cheveni. Um, yeah, I, I think that's how you say it. They were the makeup artists of the movie Inside, so they did a fantastic job on that. So I went to this film thinking that this is going to have some pretty good gore, and this is their first film, I think. And so I had, you know, I've seen the criticism that this film has got and so I come into this film cautious but I still had some hope that there'd be some good gore at least or you know just something to sort of save it from being a complete waste. Unfortunately I wouldn't say it's a complete waste but unfortunately I was disappointed with this effort. Uh, it's just a really cheap feel. You get the feeling that this is the director's first go. They're not very experienced directors. There's a lot of cheap sort of effects in this film, especially near the end where there's a fire. It looks so fake that it was just ridiculous. The crash scene, they really could have done some better work on that because that also looked really, really fake. And it's not something that you really uh, put together with a French film. There have been so many good French horror films that I guess it's, uh, it's inevitable that you're going to get a film that doesn't quite live up to the others. But this film, it really didn't work for me. The acting, it wasn't poor. I mean, Dominique Pignon, he's been off great films like Amelie and Delicatessen, but this film wasn't one of his best efforts. He didn't have a lot to work with. Uh, he played kind of the protective father, but then a lot of his behaviour didn't really seem quite normal. So I didn't like that. I didn't like the guy on the back here, the this bloke here. He was like the main sort of hero guy, but he was really annoying. He had a really high-pitched voice, like his balls haven't dropped. You know, he hasn't reached pu puberty, so he had a really squeaky voice, and that just got really annoying as well. And he just, you know, there, there wasn't really a 
a person that would take the fight to these Neanderthals that were actually hunting him down. And I've just given it away, but that's not a huge spoiler because, as I said, you can see on the back there what they're up against. So, yeah, it just no likeable characters, uh, annoying characters. I was waiting for the gore, but there's not much gore in it at all. A lot of it's off screen, which is a real disappointment because I said these directors were worked on Inside, which is one of the most graphic films you can see in the horror genre. So you're just going into to it thinking I was going to get something like Inside. So yeah, I was very, very disappointed. This film on its own, maybe I would have thought of it differently, but you know, the past efforts from France. They've set a really high standard, and this one just really doesn't meet that standard. So I can't really recommend this film. You know, if you're a, a French horror fanatic like I am, you're probably going to pick it up anyway. But yeah, I was disappointed with this film, and I'm, you know, I'm the kind of person that will give every film a go. You know, sometimes you've just got to sit back and just um, throw all sort of realism out the window. But I just couldn't get into this one. Just no real gore. The suspense wasn't maintained. There was a few scenes of suspense here and there, but it wasn't maintained throughout the whole film, so it didn't have a really tense feel. Uh, there's just not a lot. There's a really good camera shots. The cinematography is pretty good. There's a lot of beautiful scenery of the Swiss Alps, and that was really good. So that was a real plus for these directors. So it's something to learn from. No uh, filmmaker's first film or one of their first films is perfect, so you know, you've got to learn from your mistakes. Hopefully these two keep making the horror movies in France and learn from their mistakes. Uh, there's plenty of them, unfortunately, in this film, but there are some positives. I mean, the, the scenery, as I said, was really well shot. So the directors don't, you know, they're not complete Muppets. They do have some ability, but, yeah, this is just de definitely not a, a memorable French horror film, which is a shame, because I went into this thinking, you know, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it every, every chance to be a good film, but, no, it just didn't work for me. So that's Humane's, definitely a disappointing addition to the French horror genre, but yeah, I, yeah, you just didn't, it's not a memorable film. Alright guys, I hope you like this review, and I'll see you later. Bye.